How's it going, y'all? Silent E, TCG here, back again with another deck profile on my current deck I've been using this week. As you can see, uh, if, it, if, it, if it isn't a hint already, <laughs> it is the Green Kid from the uh, starter deck, the wor uh, Supernova starter deck, or worst generation. But definitely a phenomenal leader, of course. Um, been taking names, winning games, <laughs> and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna show you all my build. The build has been phenomenal. It's been, you know, very consistent, very strong. I only lost one game, and it was a close game, of course, to a uh, Red Zoro. But overall, phenomenal gameplay, and um, and all, you know, I did all the plays right, I guess. And you know, one thing I didn't like was my life wasn't really didn't have the right cards in it. But aside from that. It was good. Definitely a good leader. Build was phenomenal, and I'm going to show you all right now what I've been using. And yes, I'm using the Atlanta Wano package, which would be starting off with the four. Mononosuke, definitely a key card to get. Much like Bonnie, you're searching for the Atlanta Wano cards, which there are many in here. We got the four, Nekomamushi, able to rest the three cost of lower is really good. And you're just able to get past blockers and other bodies you got to beat up before they attack you with them. For Izo, probably the key card of the whole deck. Like, I protected him way more than almost any other card I had to lose. Like, even more than a Bonnie or a uh, Mononosuke. <laughs> because just netting you a free card, even though you don't, you don't even have to hurt him, you just attack and get a free, draw a free card. As long as you have two rested, it's been tremendous. It's been so much help. Uh, for Izo, or sorry, for Izo, um... <laughs> Can't get your eyes out of my mind, but for uh, Ezo, uh, perfect for the resting of four or less uh, cards who are either big or blockers, and then 2k bodies. So, fetching it off Momo is always good. And then her herself, Yamato. Man, well, I wish I could run more, but two's been fun. Uh, either you open her or you search her with Momo, but she puts in work, double hit, double attack, uh, banish, always good. Definitely can seal games. But uh, that's it for the Atlanta Wano uh, cards. We'll get into the rest of the Supernovas, which is the four Jewelry Bonnie. Search her for that. The, for this part of the strategy, definitely four of her. Uh, four Beige, definitely your one cost blocker. Just gets the job done. Protects her, Momo or Bonnie, whichever you pair them up with. Four Killer. Uh, two uh, two costs. Um, get it on. Draw a card. Put it on on him. Draw a card. If you have three or more, so definitely need the card advantage. I still run the one three, uh, three drop pillar in case it does come from life. It'll you know snipe a body on the board that's rested three or less, and then it, it still comes out as an attacker. So always good. Or you can even bounce it with the law and bring it out and still kill two birds with one stone. And then a poo, never bought him out for his effect, but just 2k counter. That's all he's in here for. Just searchable. As well as the one Beppo. Um, the deck needed a little bit more, so I decided to put him in just the one. You'll never bring it out, even though I can. But it was mainly a handful of 2k. And I do have the partner to bring it out with, but I, it never came up. But this is the Sachi, the three cost blocker. Gets around Nico Robin since he's 4k power. Uh, four law, best card, best blocker. Um, and best card, <laughs> bounce uh, a combo card to hand, replay them, or play something else, and get the ball rolling. And then MVP, of course, no less, a uh, four, eight drop kid. The wall, they have to climb around to, to get to your leader or even your characters. And it's so easy to protect them with blockers and all the two Ks I just showed you. You're just able to do that. And he, he lasts long. He's, a, he's an attacker. He's really good. Got to have four. And then three, Pump Gibson. I had four, but I think four was too much, so I decided to cut it to three. Um, it was never in life, so the trigger never happened, but the 4K is good. Resting a four or less is perfect. That's a really good card in general. And then uh, the fourth uh, spot I took it over was the Straw Sword. Um, definitely put in some work, because you know people want to last a couple turns, or they're, if they have no life, they want to leave a blocker up. Just being able to rest it and attack for game has always been good. Almost like the elbow John May, except it just rests it in general. But uh, for green, of course. But that is it for the deck. Oh man, the deck's been 
perfectly swell. I, 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 I know Kid Strong, and I can see why. <laughs> but this is definitely a, a strong deck. So, y'all, please give it a try. You know, let me know what um, I can change up. Or, you know, if I don't need to use Straw Sword, let me know. One's fine. I mean, I don't think I need anything else. Paradise uh, Waterfall is pretty good, too. But I think my... Uh, my selections were good. I didn't have any problems with anything else, and everything was fine. Matchups were fine. So, y'all, let me know. Let me know down in the comments. So, be sure to like the video, subscribe, comment down below of anything that needs to be needs to be done to it or changed, or let me know if it was good in general. And everything's all right. But that's it. Hope y'all enjoyed. We'll have a new uh, deck this coming week to use. So, be sure to of course subscribe and keep an eye out for that and if i don't see y'all then enjoy the new year i will see y'all when i see y'all take care thank y'all again and peace out this is silent atcg